I'm sure Congress strategists thought that it is important to stay relevant within the Indian political arena. Otherwise, there's no point going into 2024 and even further. So I think that the entire walk project was not a bad idea. It did gather some news headlines. It did gather media headlines. The cadres were enthused. Unfortunately, what does Rahul Gandhi do after that? Instead of building on whatever little, uh, you know, um, whatever little gains he had garnered from that walk, uh, Bharat Yorajatra, he goes abroad and ironically, he goes to a country which had once colonized India. He goes to their parliament. He goes to their think tank. He goes to their um, uh, to their universities and then he starts spewing venom against India. Now, which I, I, I'm trying to get inside Rahul Gandhi's mind. If he wants to become the prime minister of India at one point of time, then he can only do so through a transfer of power by democratic means. And that can only happen if you can win the votes. Now, how on earth can you win a society? How on earth can you win votes in a society, a post-colonial society, a society which was colonized for hundreds of years, which has now become independent. And there is a very strong anti-colonialism, which still runs through the entire length and breadth of the society. How on earth are you going to go to a country which had once colonized you, complain about that country and its institutions, and yet hope to win the election? I just simply do not understand it. Mm.